Our main location at 400 East Gray Street recently suffered through some flooding. So this is where the water fountain was, where the pipe burst and flooded over the weekend. Down through the ceiling, down the walls, mainly affected the uh, west half of the building. So considerable damage to the third and second floors. So everything with a red tag is going to be disposed. If it's green tagged. Yellow, green tag is okay. Yeah. But our services never paused. Most everyone is working remotely or we've identified alternate offices. So we have areas where maybe three or four people are sharing an office, whatever we can do to get through. One thing that we learned through COVID that we can work remotely, we can work in different locations and, and throughout the community. And we have several locations throughout the community. Well, hello, how are you? Our wonderful Miss Pam Spencer here greets our customers and answers a lot of phone calls. <laughs> we were able to quickly reopen our TB clinic. So it is for appointment only. We're not able to take walk-ins at this time. This area had minimal damage due to the flooding. And our harm reduction services are here at our Gray Street operation on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But we offer multiple locations for harm reduction services. Our WIC clinics are located away from the main building. Um, in addition to that, our sexual health clinic is also not located at Gray Street. Fortunate, you know, our staff is they're extremely flexible. Hey, there's mosquito control, folks. <laughs> Just amazing and resilient.